Good morning, everyone. I've already started my next project, which is going through my home project binder over there and getting it set up for the new year. Now, uh, for those of you that don't know me, I do a lot of organizing and mini makeovers and even some major renos. And uh, not just for my home, but for my rental properties, my Airbnbs. And I have recently uh, acquired a flip house with my brother and his girlfriend. At least it's going to be a flip house for me. I don't know if it's going to end up being a flip house for them too. But we'll see how that goes. And um, yeah, I'm excited to share with you. I have some new printables to um, help you get organized with your um, project plans. And you can get those for free on my website, aquahaven747.com. Um, yeah, and I will be sharing you more with how I set up the binder as I go along here but I wanted to quickly show you my little piles on the floor here so I've got this little pile here which is uh, a previous project which I'm going to put in my archive files because I'm done finally with that and these two piles here are things I'm just going to get rid of I don't need them anymore and a few things over here I'm thinking I may keep because I'll still need them going forward so I like to keep floor plans of everything and uh, yeah, I'm going to show you everything once I get into it. Good morning everyone. I am finally ready to show you my home project binder. As you know, I just finished decluttering it and I have now set it up for uh, the new year. So I'll have a label on the side here. This is just a uh, Martha Stewart binder. I've had it for several years. Um, it's got a pocket in the front and a pocket in the back um, and in the front pocket I keep some extra printables uh, for uh, new projects that I might want to do. If you are interested in um, getting some of these uh, free printables as well I will link, I'll put a link down below for my blog and you can get them there. And I also keep this, this ruler here, which is uh, a scale ruler for doing floor plans, but you can use any um, grid ruler or even grid paper. And a little uh, pencil case here, I keep some extra paint swatches and samples for laminate if I'm thinking about uh, using those for a project. And at the beginning of the year, I also like to do a master plan of everything that I want to do for my house. And also I have like rental properties and um, uh, Airbnb units. So anyway, that I just keep at the front. <clears throat> I have a few of these uh, um, pocket dividers and I can keep brochures in them. This is for the IKEA kitchens because I'm going to be doing... Um, one of the kitchens in my Airbnb units. Um, I've got uh, these stickers uh, for floor plan, but uh, this is more for like dining room, but I put it in with the kitchens. I use these dividers. I can get these anywhere. I like these uh, pretty ones. Uh, I got, I think I got them from the dollar store, but you can use whatever kind of dividers you want. So here we are. Um, my main project that I'm working on right now is uh, my kitchen in one of my guest suites. So I can't really see that well, but that's a picture of the cabinet doors that I'm going to be doing. Um, some of the photos here, more that's more for inspiration, and so is that. That's the floor tiles that I'm using. I'm using red as an accent still, and this is going to be the new countertop. Now this is my main plan. So it's got what the purpose of the space and the goals are. It's got the color scheme for everything like the walls, the doors, window coverings, that type of thing. And then there's a list of furniture appliances, main accessories. Now on the next page, I have a more detailed to-do list and shopping list and I haven't filled this out completely with the phone numbers and everything because this didn't want to be giving away personal information here. 
but I've got the contractors listed here and then I'll fill in their phone numbers afterwards. And I've also done a floor plan here that has uh, all the plugs and switches on it for the space that I'm going to be doing. And because I'm using an IKEA kitchen, they have that great program where you can plan it online. And this is basically what it's going to end up looking like. I didn't put the countertop on there because I am using my own countertop. This is uh, this picture here and this one here are our different views of how it's going to end up looking. Somewhat. Something like that. Right now there's a bit of a supply problem with their kitchen cabinets so I'm still waiting for some uppers. Uh, before I can finish it, but I will be sharing that more with you uh, when I get it done. So yeah, so I've got the different tabs for different spaces. Um, let me see, what else can I show you? Oh, my living room. <clears throat> so this was my inspiration photo for my living room. You may have already seen uh, it in previous uh, videos or blogs. But uh, that was my main jumping off point back. So you can use like one image or you can use a bunch of images uh, just to get some inspiration on what you, how you want your room to look. That's my sofa and, uh, or I guess sectional sofa and ottoman that I ended up getting. And uh, I, this isn't completely filled out, but I started filling it out for uh, this year. I haven't decided what color. Right now it's um, Zeppelin gray, which is kind of like a medium gray, and I'm thinking I want to change it up a bit. I might go dark gray, I might go navy, I, I maybe I'll go white, I don't know. If you have any uh, ideas, uh, just uh, pop them down in the comments below. Um, yeah, so again, things to do. I've got the floor plan for the living room. Um, when a few years back I designed the uh, extra built-in that I put in for my office. Uh, that's what it was going to look like overall. And I ended up using some IKEA cabinets for my built-in as well. So that's that. Um, yeah, so the, I think that's all I've got really filled out for now. And then I've got other, other areas other my, for my other properties. And at the back, I have uh, some extra uh, brochures that have, you know, like paint, paint, paint ideas, uh, furniture stuff. I want to do my back deck this year, so I got a few things for that there. And uh, yeah, when I'm ready to jump on that, I will uh, fill, fill that in. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this and I've got some ideas to do your own home project binder and I will see you in the next one.